Today we're taking a look at this Galatz comic and illustration nib set. I picked this up from Sakado in Tokyo in like 2012 and I've been working on working my way through my supply backlog. So here we are today taking a look. As you can see two of the nibs have gotten out of place but inside this set is the 303, the 404, the 1068, the Rundhand, the 659, and the 850. Actually, three of the nibbies have come undone. There we go. And it comes with two nib holders. So we're going to gently remove it from its packaging, which is all in Japanese because this is, of course, well, not all, all in Japanese, but enough of it is in Japanese. The instructions on the back are in Japanese. Ooh, these do not, are not gonna wanna go back into place. And it is made by Rexel and made in England. So, oh no, it is teeny tiny writing on basically black. I can't read this. I really, really can't read this. I can't tell you what this one is. Awesome. I, 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 it ends in an eight. It looked like, oh my goodness. Why do they even, six? No, 659, I think. It's like, why do they, why even put the names on these? Cause they're completely illegible. I have a feeling this one goes here, which makes this the 303. It's gonna make, since I can't read these, it's gonna make this is a really interesting demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I got these little flags from Muji. I'm going to write the numbers on it. 303, and we're gonna put them on the nibs 404, before and after use, since they're illegible. 1068. Rund, hand, which is probably just a round hand. Hmm. 659 and 850. These little flags are proving to be quite handy. I was thinking they might be too small to be any good, but I was wrong. All right, we have got the Denik Inktober notebook that you guys have seen so, so many times and heard me complain about so, so many times. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, I usually only, if unless I'm doing a review, I only use products that I recommend. This is an exception. I'm trying to get through it. And I'm almost done with it. So our two hand, our two holders are actually quite interesting. This one reminds me of the Tachikawa crow quill I have. And this one reminds me of the other Tachikawa <laughs> holder I have. Very simple little holders made out of plastic. And today we're going to use some FW acrylic ink in not a dinky dip but a dink cup, nah, it's just like a lush pot that's been cleaned out. And has proven very handy. So we're gonna start with the 303. Decent little holder though. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even clean them off. I'm bad. G O L L O T. Comic. And. Whoa, catching on this paper. Which doesn't actually mean much because everything catches on these paper, this paper. So, the 303 zoom in so you guys can see is a fairly flexible nib 
get a lot of line variation. And even though I was bad and didn't clean this off first, still does a good job of holding a fair amount of ink and not just dropping it. wipe that off. I'm going to clean them off entirely when they're finished. All right. So that is the 303. Now for the 404. And this time I'll actually be smart. And nope, I'm not going to be smart. I guess I'm going to persist in. There we go. I've got some rubbing alcohol in a little spray bottle, so I will quickly clean any factory oils off the nib using just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. We'll use the larger The 404 is a little bit less flexible, still fairly flexible though, so I guess it's a little sturdier, a little harder. A little easier to draw a fine line. This might be better if you're heavy handed like I am. Next to Lee is the 1068. And don't worry, I will probably do in-depth reviews for any of these nibs that seem particularly promising. So I'll clean that 1068 off with a bit of rubbing alcohol, insert it in the galot holder, which is a very tight fit. Ooh, this one, this one is a lot firmer. You get some nice, very thin lines. This one is pretty good. Let's see, Let's see how much flex we can get. Fair amount of flex. Not as flexible as the other two. So I think these are probably sized in line weight order, at least in the packaging, not numbered as such going to be a good one to ink with. And these feel a lot sturdier than the Hunt nibs. Okay, now for the Rundhand. Carefully finagle it out of its little pocket that you guys can't see. Oh, and the holders have numbers. It's number 50 and number 51 with the crow quill holder being the number 50. Come to me. There we go. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. Hold it up. So you guys can get a look. Move the camera ever so. So this is not a flexible nib, this is more of an italic nib. You can flex it though, it does have some flex in it. Can get a variety of line weights out of it because it's an italic. This one might be fun for lettering. We have two little crow quills. 
we have the 659 and the 850. Let's take a look at the 659. We're going to use the peg style holder. Here we go. All right, this one. This one I did not clean. Let me clean it and see if that will help. It does not want to write. And also, let me fix my camera a bit for you guys. Okay. It'll write backwards. There we go. Six fifty nine. It is flexible and it catches on this paper like a lot. So I'm going to have to do my test on the plate Bristol because it almost doesn't want to write on the Dunnick. Like it really doesn't want to write. In fact, I'm having a lot of trouble with this one. Okay, well, if I can't get this to write, then I can't test it. I can't have an opinion on it. So that is just going to have to be that for now. And finally, we'll take a look at the 850. I'll make sure to be a smarty and clean it first. Crows can be hard to get all the oils off of them. All right, so we're at the eight. Oh, really? Eight fifty. This one actually is willing to write on this paper. My six fifty nine may have gotten damaged. Nope. Now it's starting to act finicky too. I'm gonna have to double test this on the plate Bristol. See if it writes any better on there, but it really does not like the Dunnick paper. And that is a look at the Glot comic and illustration nib set. I am gonna clean these nibs off Please look forward to future individualized reviews. And I'm going to try to revisit these little crow quills, see if I can get them to write on something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye.